Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you what I'm doing for my December daily and the supplies that I'm going to be using. I may be using this Snap Studios uh, binder by Simple Stories. It is the 6x8 snap binder and the one with the red binding. And I think this is going to be really, really cool for a December daily. I wanted to do something smaller. Last year I used a Smashbook, so I wanted to go completely opposite this year. And then these are the pocket page protectors. Now I purchased these throughout the year on clearance. I usually find them on clearance at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. So I just bought different configurations. So just depending on what I wanna do, I can use different sizes and different configurations. And I like to have extra on hand because I will probably do other mini projects in binders similar to this. And then the last thing I got for the setup is these photo flip pockets and that's just to add additional space in different locations within the pages. And you guys have seen me use these on my Project Life shares that I share with you guys. So that's everything for the binder. Let's move on to seeing some supplies. I was trying to decide how I was going to show you guys everything and it's really going to be impossible to flip through everything because I have so many supplies, but I'll kind of go over a general of some of the items that I got. I stuck in order of company, so instead of doing individual haul videos, which would have gotten crazy and out of control, I just picked a couple of few companies that I'd like to put in my December daily this year and the first one was Chic Tags. I had seen a lot of their items popping up in the Gossamer Blue and Scraptastic kit and I was loving them. So I picked up their exclusive December kit, which was $19.99. And for $19.99, you get a lot of cute stuff. So I'm just going to show you the cards real quick because they are adorable. And I'm not going to be too long on each one. Just kind of flip through them randomly. I love these. I love the colors in this. These are definitely the colors that I'm going to mainly be sticking with. Oh, I love the baking with love. And this is probably my favorite card. It's just absolutely beautiful. And there's an enormous amount of ephemera pieces. I mean, all kinds of just beautiful, beautiful pieces. Look how cute that gingerbread man is. And the perfect tree. We have music. We have uh, Believe in the Magic of Christmas, a snowman. Just all kinds of awesome, random goodiness. And then we have some uh, cork. Gingerbread men and women, really cute and really good quality ones. And we have some really adorable um, flare buttons, which I'm really loving. I love the Christmas 2014 and the little elf on the shelf, the truck with the tree, really, really cute. And we have these resin stars, which I have not been a fan of the resin pieces that have been coming in the kits, but these are actually not too thick and not too bad. I will probably definitely use these. So I'm excited about that. And the wood veneers is what sold me on this kit. I could not pass this kit up for anything. Check out the elf, check out the holly and the deer. I mean, just really beautiful, nice size pieces. We have December 25th and Deck the Halls, Merry and Bright, Santa Stops Here, and a Christmas tree. Really gorgeous. So that was everything that was in the kit. I'll show you some other items that I picked up from Sheet Tags as well. And I got these really cute journaling tags. I love these. And I'm going to flip through these very quickly. We have also the label stickers, which I had to have. I just love the colors. This is definitely the colors that I'll be sticking with. And these gold star rub-ons, how can you say no to that? They're from the Good Tidings as well. And then we have the uh, photo toppers. We have the icons. Both of these are really cute, just some extra pieces that I can use for layering and adding on photos. And we have the Good Tidings clear tags and the frame tags, which are really, really cute. Loving both of these. So I'm going to be using those as well. And then this last set was individual. I will show you these real quick. I'll flip through them. They match up to the set as well. I just had to have them because of this card right here. Cookies and Milk, Dear Santa. Very cute. All I Want is You. And I'm going to flip through them real quick. Really awesome cards. Beautiful. God, this one is beautiful. I can't wait to use that one. 
and just really fun. I really liked the chic tag look this year for their December items. So that is awesome. Okay, that was everything from chic tags. I'll show you the next company I went with. The next items that I went with were from Elle's Studio. This is another new company that I'm really, really crushing on besides chic tags. And I love the colors in their collection for winter or Christmas as well because they were very similar to the ones for chic tags. So we're going to go through this real quick. The first one is the Good Cheer Wood Veneers. Oh my God, these totally sold me. You guys know that I am a wood veneer junkie, so I had to have these. And I picked up the foodie ones, which are not part of the Christmas collection, but we do a lot of food during Christmas time. So I just figured that it would be really fun to add those in. And then this is also from the Good Cheers collection. We have the blank labels and the snippet labels. Really fun. I, again, I love the colors on these guys. I'm really excited about using these. I have the Good Cheer journaling tags and I opened this up so it'd be easy to flip through. We have Merry Note, Ho Ho Ho, really cute snowflakes, just really pretty. I'm loving these cards. I cannot wait to use these. These two kits, which is L Studio and Chic Tags, are going to be my main go-to cards. Really loving that. Loving everything about these cards. They are just gorgeous and beautiful in the colors. And I'm really excited about incorporating the pink this year, which I have not done in the past. So that is super cool. Okay, we also have the Good Cheer Cutouts and the Good Cheer Bits and Pieces, an ephemera pack that is just amazing and has a bunch of cool stuff. I love these letters here that say Mary. That's going to be fun. And then I found this individual um, sheet, which I really like because it has the two by two squares and some of the inserts that I have for my snap album are two by two and these coordinate back to the kit as well. So that is everything from L Studio. I'm really excited about these products. Okay, let's hit on to the next company. Okay, the next company that I want to feature in my December daily is Chicken Nitty, and that is also a new name for me this year. And when I had first gotten them in the Gossamer Blue kit, I really liked them. So I looked at their December items and they looked very similar color-wise to L Studio and Chic Tags. So I figured I would try to incorporate some of these. So I got the uh, Sentiment Mini Stickers, really cute. And I know a lot of you have seen these because they were in Scraptastic and Gossamer Blue kits. And then I got these Jolly Good Mini Stickers, the tags as well. So this is all from the Jolly Good collection. Really colorful and really beautiful. And again, there is that pink that I'm really looking forward to incorporating. I also got the journal tags, which I just thought can't have enough tags, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, and then we got this that is also from the Jolly Good collection. I just totally, totally love this. I think it is adorable. I love the fact that there's a New Year's one in here too that I can save for a New Year's spread. But there is some really, really cute stuff going on in these sheets. And I got both of them. And there are solid papers on the back side, which is kind of good for me because I don't like to have to choose. And of course, I'll be going with the Project Lifestyle cards because that's what I mainly use. And just a lot of fun stuff. I love him. He's so cute. So great colors, great fun. And then I got the coordinating sticker sheet that goes with that as well because I just figured it would be really fun. And there's that cute snowman again. So that was the next company. So let's move on. The next set of items that I went with are from Bella Boulevard, which is the Christmas cheer collection. I thought these were really cute. Look how adorable that little reindeer is. And I love the colors. Lots of them match back with the L Studio and the Chic Tags collections. There's a lot of the teal blues and the pinks and I wanted to incorporate them. And these were so cute, I could just not say no to them. And I picked up this sheet as well. I love this. I'm really gonna do my best to incorporate that pink. I think it will be so fun and I love this snowflake um, 
page. And then I also got the Christmas Cheer Bella Boulevard stickers as well. Really cute, really fun. I think these will be cool and just super fun to use. Okay, and I did pick up this one sheet from American Crafts with gold dots on it. I want to incorporate gold as well. And I don't have a lot of gold items. I do plan on going to Hobby Lobby to pick up some other gold-oriented papers. And uh, Jeannie Bakes 22 had given me some of the Heidi Swap gold items from the Heidi Swap Gold Project Life Kit, and I'm gonna incorporate those as well. So that was it, let's go on to the next bunch of items. Okay, as you can see, there's a huge stack here. So I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible, but I have these Lawn Fawn um, sequins that I had left over from last year. I have this really cute Fancy Pants ephemera pack that I wanna incorporate. Um, I have these Allison Craft envelopes that were also left over from last year. I'm going to try and incorporate those as well. We have the Gossamer Blue uh, Happy Veneers, and a lot of them have snowflakes on them. They're not all Christmas oriented, but you can see that one there. I thought maybe that would work. I have Pink Paisley's Merry and Bright, and these are the 70-piece ephemera pack. Now, these colors are a little bit off from the... Uh, L Studio and Chic Tag ones, but there are the white uh, sparkly ones that would work really well, not all of them, so I'm going to see what will work. And also from the Merry and Bright, I have the sticker sheet, so whatever I can possibly incorporate from that. I have these Studio Calico banners that were left over from last year. I'm going to see if I can do something with those. And we have the uh, Fancy Pants sequence the Christmas colors and those really go well with the Chic Tag and L Studio collection so I'm going to be using those. I have American Craft stuff. I have uh, their ephemeras bits and their tags and I think a lot of these will work with what I was doing as well with the other two collections that are going to be the main ones I use. Really cute. I think those will be fun. I have this American Craft sticker sheet. It was just random. I kind of just threw it in my order. I can maybe do something with that. Now, I do have a lot of stuff from Snap Studios. Um, these I will definitely use, which is the uh, Simple Stories Christmas DIY overlay stickers. These are just amazing. I have the non-holiday ones and I use them all the time. Now, these also do not really tie up well with um, the Chic Tag and L Studio collection, but there might be something I can use in them. One is the DIY Christmas, and the other one is the Tis the Season sets. And also from DIY, I have this little ephemera pack, and there's a lot of fun stuff in that. And then I have some Evilicious items, which again are not the best as far as tying back to the L Studio and Chic Tags collections, but some of them will, like for instance, this blue one and the red one and some of these flare buttons, but I did want to grab those because they were really cute. Okay, now we're going to go on to the last items, which is going to be the stamps and the dies that I'm using. You guys know that I absolutely love to use stamps and dies in my uh, project life spread so I'm going to be doing so for my December daily as well so I'm going to just show you a few things that I have I have the L Studio Mary and Bright stamp set which is limited edition I picked those up with the L Studio items and I also got this one as well which is the warmest wishes stamp set really love that Okay, and from L Studio, also I got this North Pole stamp because I had to have it. It's absolutely adorable and so cute. So those were the L Studio ones. I have some paper smooches next. These little um, number dies are going to be used for my numbers on each page. I think that's going to be really super cute. And I have these snowflakes that I might back the numbers with. I have the snowflake stamp, or actually it is called Fresh Snow from Paper Smooches. And then I have the Joyful Greetings set, and I do have dies for these. I just can't locate them right now. I had pulled them out and not finding them. 
Okay, also you guys know I love the bunny stamps from Cat's Pajamas, so I'm going to be using some of those. I have Snow Day. How cute is he with all the snowballs? But you know what? We've been having 60 degree weather this month, so I don't even know where that's going to go. <laughs> I have this one here that's called Skating Bunny, and I have him that's freezing season, which is really cute. And then we have this one that is called Define Good. So I love my bunny stamps. I'll be using those as well. And then I have a lot of Dynamics um, and My Favorite, stu uh, I'm sorry, My Favorite Things stamps. And I have this one here that is the tea or called uh, You're My Cup of Tea. I drink a lot of tea in December time frame. Now, I pulled this one out for New Year's. That won't be my December daily, so I'm just going to throw that on the side. And I have this one that's new. It's really cute. It's called Sparkling Season. I really love that. And I have one of my all-time favorites. That is You Shine. I have the Candy Cane Kisses. I have What's Cooking, because I do a lot of cooking in December time. I picked up the uh, new tag builder blueprints too which I thought would be really cute for adding tags within the um, different pockets and then I picked up this because I had to have it it's jingle all the way the little Santa clauses I know you guys have been seeing these all over the place and of course I had to have them because they're just totally fabulous and amazing and those are the coordinating dies. So I'll be using those as well. I have this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Okay, and the coordinating dies. And this one here is called Love You A Latte. And I do have a lot of drinks and different things going on in December time. And then this is just some random ones. I have 12 Days of Christmas by My Mind's Eye. I have Merry and Bright by Allison Kraft. I have Mistletoe Magic by My Mind's Eye. I have the ornaments from Sugar Plums from CC Designs. And I have the candy canes from CC Designs as well. So those are all the stamps and dies that I will be incorporating all of them. That would be important. Possible. But I do want to have these pulled because I think it would be really fun to have that type of, you know, selection as I go through my December daily and I need a stamp or die. I can dig through these. And the one little item that I forgot was my gold glitter tape. <laughs> so that was everything, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not going to be doing progression videos and, um, process videos with my December daily. I'm going to do it the end of December like I did last year. I'll probably have it done by the first week in January um, and I'm still catching up on my regular project life so you guys can uh, expect to see some process videos for my September pages. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments just leave them below. Bye!